tonight, Catholics around the world are reacting to a newly released document from Pope Francis. It's called The Joy of Love, and it touches on divorce, same-sex marriage, and relationships in general. And the pontiff is telling Catholics and the church to be less judgmental and more accepting. At the Manchester Diocese, Bishop Peter Labashi says he's thrilled about the Pope's newest publication. We were looking forward to it, and now it's finally arrived. The 260-page document is called The Joy of Love. It is the culmination of a two-year project created with the help of two high-level church councils. Questionnaires were given to Catholics at tens of thousands of churches around the world, asking them their views on a wide range of family issues. There's so many people are involved, even from New Hampshire, involved in responding to survey questions and now here it is so we're very very happy it finally came out and so quickly too. Pope Francis offered no major changes to church doctrine but he says people should be guided by their conscience when it comes to tricky moral questions like divorce. The Pope wrote that priests should be flexible on communion for divorced people. The Holy Father asked that we accompany people to walk with people not to as he says not to sit in judgment but to realize that in struggles, what we really need is somebody who can walk with us through the struggle. The Pope did, however, uphold the church's opposition to abortion and same-sex marriage, but urged church members not to discriminate against homosexuals. And Pope Francis offered a long list of advice for couples, urging them, among other things, to make time for each other, accept shortcomings, and say please, thank you, and I'm sorry. Bishop Labashi says he's excited to use the joy of love for guidance. What we want to be able to do is to do something that's going to be lasting, make sense, and really fit. And that's what the Holy Father is hoping for. Meantime, Vermont Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders has been invited to the Vatican. Sanders has accepted that invitation and he'll attend a summit on social, environmental and economic issues next week. It's not clear if Sanders will be meeting with the Pope.